Hey everybody, in today's video, we are going to walk through Legoland Sea Life, an aquarium which is located right across Legoland in Malaysia. So it's a really easy, if you're staying at the resort, uh, going to the aquarium or Legoland or the water park, it's just a really quick walk. So if you're planning to visit Legoland, make sure you also include a stay at the Legoland Resort, especially if you've got young kids, because it's a really quick and easy walk to get to this aquarium. So this particular day that we went to the aquarium, it was actually raining in Malaysia and Singapore. It was pretty heavy, so we thought we might as well go to the aquarium and walk around, and we definitely were not disappointed. So if you're planning to visit Legoland, you're probably wondering what the cost is going to be to visit the aquarium as well. If you hop onto the Legoland Malaysia Resort website, you do get passes, like you can get a one day pass just to see live or just to the water park or the theme park or do a combo. We did a combo so we could cover both, but we decided to come out to just the aquarium first and then we headed off to the theme park the next day. So a little bit about Legoland Sea Life, they've got 25 display tanks in 11 habitat zones and they've got over 13,000 sea creatures from 120 species. So it's been a few months since we visited so I wouldn't be surprised if they've got more sea creatures there or whenever you go visit they were definitely doing a bit of renovation and setting up some new spaces so I'm pretty sure they do have some cooler displays right now. The one thing that I must note is the closing time. They do close at 6 p.m. So make sure you keep that in mind because the last entry is at 5 p.m. So they kind of estimate you need about an hour to get through the entire space. So make sure if you're planning to go, don't show up at like 5.05 or 5.15 because they definitely won't let you in. We were there, I think, around 4.55. So we almost missed it. But we were so glad we showed up at the time that we did. The theme park and the water park do have a day where they shut down in the week. So I think the water park is on a Tuesday every week and then the theme park I believe is on the Wednesday. But the Sea Life Aquarium is open all the days. So make sure if you're trying to plan a, you know, a trip around all the three locations that you plan that in as well. It's quite important to note sometimes tourists we don't you know, plan that in. We just think that you know, all of the touristy stuff will be open every single day, but they do close it down on a particular day. So make sure you do check out the website when you make your plans to go and visit Legoland Malaysia Resort. Because let me tell you, I highly recommend if you got kids who are, you know, um, pre not preschoolers, just a bit older, so like five to about like 10 or 11, they would absolutely love going to Legoland maybe a bit older as well. So make sure if you're a parent watching this, plan a trip to take your kids out to Legoland anywhere in the world. But if you live close to Malaysia, do go check this place out because you'll absolutely love it. Hey, if you've landed on this video because you just did a search on YouTube for Legoland Malaysia Resort or you know, the, uh, the Sea Life Aquarium, do let me know in the comment section below. I always like to know uh, from where people are watching or why they live. So do let me know in the comment section below. All right, so my review of this place is that it's definitely family friendly, definitely kid friendly. It's very clean and uh, the kids enjoyed being in the aquarium, you know, cause sometimes when you kind of like walk through aquariums, children can get a bit bored, but this was really engaging and it also really helped that they had different Lego uh, characters around the place so the kids didn't want to take photos or they kind of related to the character they knew who they were walking past so that was really nice and we didn't have to kind of like drag them through the space the place did have a lot of children so if you're visiting without kids you might want to keep that in mind uh, i can't recommend you know what time to go maybe if you show up first thing i don't know but um do keep that in mind this is definitely this whole resort is for children and it's extremely kid friendly so if you're a parent like i said before plan a visit to this place because you guys will love it because even as parents we thoroughly enjoyed watching how much our kids enjoyed our stay and our visit to legoland 
Hey, I really hope you enjoyed watching this video and also getting an idea of what Sea Life Aquarium is like as you make your plans to visit this amazing place. Also, a big hello to all of my new subscribers. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give this video a like. And also, I've been posting shorts during the week. So if you check them out, don't forget to give those videos a like as well and comment on them because I need some more interaction. All right, thank you so much. I'll see you all next week with a brand new video.